pretty good ball game. Only four years after his arrival in Vegas, Jerry Tarkanian had moved UNLV into the big time. But it came with a price. Just five months after the 1977 season ended, with a close loss to North Carolina in the Final Four, the NCAA officially hit UNLV with numerous major rules infractions. There were charges of grade fixing, recruiting violations, and providing players with extra benefits, including free clothing, cash gifts, and other various merchandise, some of which occurred before Tarkanian arrived in 1973. Still, the penalty was severe. A two-year ban on appearing on national TV and from participating in postseason play. Then, the bombshell. Citing infractions dating back to his days at Long Beach State, the NCAA took the extremely unusual step of recommending that UNLV suspend its coach, Jerry Tarkanian, for two seasons. Was he a perfect coach? Was he a saint? Did he do things that a lot of other coaches did? I imagine he did. I like to say there are no virgins of big-time college athletics. If you're going to win big, you're going to play some of those games. You're going to commit some rules violations, sometimes unknowingly, many times knowingly. Were the extra benefits? Technically, yes. Were other schools doing it? Of course. Can you prove it? That's another story. And that's always been the case. This goes back to before he came to Vegas. Even back when he was at Long Beach, he was being investigated. They came after us at Long Beach State. In the history of college sports, no school has ever been on probation that had less resources than we had. We didn't have any money. Our pregame meal was Kentucky Fried Chicken. We led the nation in Kentucky Fried Chicken. 